Hey everybody, welcome back. So, um, I guess I'm gonna do a couple things first uh, in this video. Um, I'm going to change the background to to something else. Land, and I'm gonna uh, copy to wall dot png. So this is this is my current wallpaper. Everything else, so. I did that now uh, what I'm gonna do now is change the size of the Wii box uh, this is a 2560 monitor so I want this to be larger it's a little too small up there so let's do uh, uh, LS um, I'm gonna do one thing first I'm thinking um, let's go back one so we can see here's all, all of our uh, themes. So I'm going to copy recursively Copland and we're going to call that MSJCHE just because um, I like to do my own do my own things here and then when uh, <laughs> just hit uh, mod J still doesn't work mod L there we go. Um, I'm going to uh, EA and theme and change that to this JCHE. So, so now I'm playing with my own, uh, messing with my own theme here. So uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, CD to themes, MSJ. And so we've got the, uh, probably a whole bunch in here. Well, that's not as much as you'd think, really. But let's, let's edit the theme. And let's take a look at what's in here. So this should have pretty much everything, right? Um, so here, let's do this first. Uh, wall, um, font, uh, let's change, what was it, 10.5, let's change it to uh, maybe 13, I don't know. Border width's good, menu height, let's change that to uh, 20. Menu width, 130 to 200, and let's see how that looks. Oh, didn't reload, duh. Go over here, see how that looks. That looks a little better. Maybe a little bit too big. No, that looks, that looks all right. Um, one more time, is it tall enough? Yeah, might need it a little bit taller and wider. So uh, let's go back up here, change it to 25, change that to 250. Space S, mod control R. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I can see most everything without cutting it off too badly. Cool. All right. Um, now let's keep looking down the themes directory here. I'm going to use my mouse scroller so it's a little easier for you guys to follow. <clears throat> Text clock. Interesting. I wonder why. I change that to eight. See what happens. Didn't change anything, did it? It doesn't look much big, much different. Okay, so anyways, uh, here we go. Calendar. So the thing with the cal the calendar is good. That one isn't though. But I think that's lane. That's the calendar, and it's not monospaced. Um, I'm going to change that to. Droid Sans Mono. Yeah, at least now it's spaced correctly. So it just wasn't a monospace font. It even changed the uh, lane, which is strange. But anyways, everything lines up now at least, so needed a monospace. Uh, there is an option for mail. I 
wonder where it's counting or pulling in the. Um, hmm. Wonder where it's pulling in the details. I don't see any. Well, maybe it just does it pull up a. It needs to be set up before you see. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um, one thing I do want to check though is. Uh, is uh, MPD. Oh, did I not copy it over? So you get. So go back home. So CD to MPD and touch. Uh, touch first, we're going to do MPD.DB. Well, actually, let me try this first. Try that again. Okay. CMPCPP. Uh, why? Yeah, I haven't even installed it. I believe it's called MP. I think I called it MP. Um, so CD, uh, go back one, CD.NCMP. E config, uh, we need to look for default space mode. And comment that out, space three, save it. Okay, and so if we go to one, uh, F1, yeah, uh, update. Okay, so U to uh, update. Oh, there we go. Uh, how do we get? No, I can't remember how to. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know how to turn this off. Uh, maybe. Okay, so I don't I don't know what the bindings are to turn that off. So sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't get me uh, kicked off uh, YouTube. But uh, anyways, so NPD sorted. It appeared to work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this time. Is it muted? Looks like it says muted, yeah. So let's do that again. Yeah, so it shows up nicely. Looks good, does it pop anything up? Doesn't appear to have any pop up. Yeah, I'm clicking on it and it doesn't appear to be uh, any kind of interaction. I like mine better, but this one's kind of uh, again. I have no idea how to how to pause this thing. Uh, let's let's go pause. No, oh, just P. Okay. Okay. MPD pause. Okay, cool. So uh, I can unmute. Not that it really matters, but uh, okay. So MPD is mostly sorted. So I'm going to probably play around with uh, some of the icons. If you remember what mine originally looked like, uh, let's see, because it uh, mod control two, mod shift two. Uh, I can't remember. Mod control two, I think. Yeah. Okay. So if you. Uh, We bring up Firefox. My uh, previous, uh, where did, why did that go to three? Anyways, um, is this maximized or something? 
I don't know what the heck's going on here. Something funny going on with the with the key bindings here. I'm I'm like uh, double noting everything. Oh, whatever. Uh, how do I un? I don't know what the heck's going on there. Firefox is maximized and I can't seem to unmaximize it. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's get out of that and let's bring up Firefox again. It can be maximized, that's fine. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's go. It doesn't really matter. I was just going to show you the. Uh, let's see. GitHub.com. Awesome 3.5 desktop. I just really like the uh, this um, the MPD that I had because you click on it and it would bring up uh, a terminal with the media player, NCMP, whatever. So I'm gonna probably do that eventually. Uh, let's get another one up here. So let's uh, let's take a look at. Uh, let's see. Yeah. LS, so Vim theme. Let's start. Let's start going through this. So we've done a little bit. Gone through to the MPD battery. Um, interesting. That's a lot like mine. Huh. I'm going to uh, because this is a desktop. I'm going to uh, comment all of this out. And when you do that, you need to, uh, so what do they call it? Bad icon. Or, no. What's the name of this? Bad bar, maybe? All right, where is the Wii box? I'm not sure what it's called. I'm assuming it's under the Wii box. You know, I didn't look for this last time. And yeah, we could change the size here. We might as well do it now. Uh, let's change that to 20. Whoa, wow, that was interesting. That's going to give me an error, isn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, fixed horizontal. Where is it called? Because normally you would have. Um, well, if we go here, uh, let's page up. If we go here, you have the Wii box widgets. Yeah, so you have you create the Wii box and then you add the widgets. So let's do how about layout. Sticky button, on top button, close button. Those are being called. Let's go over here. Let's go to the top. And those aren't it. Main related. Oops. Tags. 
Something's got to call all of these um, widgets to the taskbar. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. So it's under at the bottom of the themes. Okay, so add widgets to the Wii box. Okay, interesting. So it's in here. So, middle widget. Left, it says, when you go right, we want a bad icon. Oops. I want both of these commented. Because we don't need them. All right, so what is this thing? Let's take a look. It is file system. So let's do a FS icon search. We got home. It's just home, huh? So mine's pretty much empty, and I should be about fifty or sixty percent full, and it's not showing up. used. <laughs> I'm just reading, trying to figure out what margin. I don't see where it's getting the different settings, like for f how full it is. Margins, padding, ticks, widget progress bar so it's a progress bar okay that's how it's getting it and it's a factor of a hundred I don't know why it's not finding it let's just do root see what it does and again oh there we go so that worked that's better, so let's, um, oops. Run zero, and then do that. And let's do that, save it, reload it. Should show up, I don't know why it's not. Let's give it another one of these. Again, you know, if, hopefully you guys don't mind this because uh, I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. I don't have anything planned. Um, so I'm just going to, just to make sure that I'm tracking that it works, and I'm just going to uh, leave it as root because it actually works with root. And root's the one that I'm concerned about anyways. Um, or do I not have a, you know what, you know why? I don't have a home partition. That's why it's all on root. Okay, that explains it. That explains it. Okay, I don't, yeah, I didn't have a separate uh, home uh, partition on this. Okay. So that's good. Also, the volume's good. Um, although I am interested to see how, let's see. So when it checks when it's mute, and status is off, and then pulls the mute icon. Um, then he calls the the low level, which is basically no little tick marks, a medium that has one tick mark, and then uh, like a max that's that's got more tick marks. So it's he's calling like three or what? How many? One, two, three, four. It's got four icons, so just to kind of explain how that works. So uh, if we come over here and we bring up Thunar um, and we go to 
yeah, let's go to, first of all, let's do uh, control H, right? Yeah, it's been a while since I've used Uh, it's been a while since I've used, why isn't this, is it going to let me, yeah, let's just do it there. Let's go here, themes, icons, and so if we look here, it's calling vol mute. So there should be a vol mute in here, yeah, so it's calling basically this. Oh, what the heck is bring up wine? Ugh. Kill that? Can I kill it? No. So uh, let's do. What do we want for a? Um, I do not want to bring that. What is this thing? Oh my God! Internet Explorer. Oh, that's ugly. So sorry, uh, what do we want for a uh, image viewer? There's a pack there. If I don't already have it, yeah, I needed it. Okay, so we do this, open with, and do a search for Faye. Why is it not in here? Whatever, I'm just gonna pick one that I know works. Uh, one view? That's fine. So yeah, it just brings up this. So volume mute brings up this little icon. So I may or may not uh, change all those. Um, okay, I didn't mean to close Firefox. So let's see here, also mixer. So can you mute it by clicking it? Oh, it just brings it up, okay. So it's the uh, button, yeah, so there's a button there. Um, what do you need to do to, <clears throat> to mute it? Also, awful button one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure what that is, but it has to do with the button. If there was like a plus or minus up here, maybe that'd make more sense. Okay. Weather. Um, I need to change that. Separators, yeah. Task filtering, it's fine. Quick application. Uh, we don't have quick, but it doesn't matter. So this is if you wanted a function-based uh, wallpaper. Prompt box for each screen. So this would normally be in RC. New box setup. So this is where we add all of our uh, widgets. So pretty much, pretty much that's it. So I am going to take off one of the. Uh, I've got two, so let me bring up uh, MP again. Oops. There we go. So I do have two bars here, so I need to get rid of one of those. MPD widget must have a bar spacer, so I'm gonna go here and just add this, save it, reload, get rid of one of these bars. Yeah, so it just has the individual bars here. So I've got a, a pause that turns kind of pinkish. That's kind of cool. Uh, we can change the, um, let's go back up to FS. And can we change forced height, forced width, tick size. Let's just change this a lot just to see if it really does anything.
Eh, I didn't really notice anything. Uh, just undo that so I didn't screw anything up. Uh, forced height, forced width. Notification preset, I'm not worried about that. We did change the height, right? Awful title bar, awful title bar. Let's go down here real quick to the, uh, yeah, this is the one I needed to change. So I'm gonna undo this. And go over here and change this to um, 22. And reload. Definitely bigger. Okay, good. Good, good. <clears throat> so, so that's pretty much it. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot. There's the MPD the file system and the volume, which I kind of like it being minimal like that. Um, how about the time? I kind of like a longer time, but it does have a calendar, so it's okay. And if I do Alt C, right? Yeah, it brings up calendar, so that's fine. So that's, I'm pretty happy with that, I guess. Um, let's mess around with uh, the colors though, because I want, I want some transparency on, um, Actually, to do that, I need to change the wall back. So let's do that now. So CDA, just to make sure that it's working. And themes, MSJ, copy default to wall, and reload. Okay, why didn't that work? Yeah, that should have worked. Huh. I don't know why that didn't work. Is that again? I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter. So let's... Um, which one is it? Let's go back to the browser so I don't have to mess around with this. I wonder if there's a way to like unmaximize from here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Screw it. I think it's theme FG background, something like that. Theme BG normal, okay. So we go to theme BG normal and put a 99 in here. What else? Did I change anything else? No. So that just sets the transparency zero to zero to ninety-nine. And let's see if there's a tag list font. I think underscore font. No. And so let's go ahead and add that. Let's just do a search for theme font first. I wonder where it's written. I think it's down here actually, isn't it? I'm gonna change that to uh, 10. Make this a little bigger. Didn't really. Uh, let's see. I'm going to 
is it Tamsin or something? So let's see here, text clock. Yeah, he's calling Tamsin in the actual, instead of like in a uh, global theme, he's calling it per uh, widget. That's all right, I guess. Oh, yeah, theme.font. Why did I miss that? Anyways, uh, so let's go below that. And I don't know, did I? Yeah. So let's make sure that Xerod, did I? Xerod, yeah, so let's do uh, fonts which uh, updates the cache. It's uh, it's in my, it's in my uh, ZSH. So fonts is FC cache VF fonts. So just be a reference. So change the tag list font to the, tan uh, the Xerod and reload. Yeah, so we get our new, our, uh, updated fonts up here for the tag lists, which I kind of like them. So anyways, that's, uh, that's 30 minutes. I guess uh, that's the next video, so I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. So I just, I just thought uh, you'd probably want to see what about, you know, how to do the, the update. So if, we, if we're, uh, let, me just, let me just start from, from scratch here. And I still don't know the order of these things. So if I just bring up a terminal, um, and we cd to our awesome directory. You'll notice I have these uh, fonts here. Um, I believe X means there's untracked things. Blue means I think maybe there's been changes. I don't, I don't know what all these things mean. Um, we could probably see here. Okay, so yeah. So if get clean is a checkbox, dirty means I think there's things that haven't been updated yet. And there's more of them, like uh, things aren't tracked, things like that. So if we do a git status, we see um, untracked files. We have this wall misfit, wall default. So I'm going to uh, git add, and I'm just going to pretty much add everything. So git status, and the plus means uh, you've added. It's dirty means it's not updated or to GitHub, and plus means you've added things to the git repository. So I'm going to go git commit. M update. So I don't know Sunday update. Doesn't really matter. And then get push. And it should just be a checkbox now. Yep. So just a checkbox. So it's all updated. So anyways, uh, you should have this. Uh, live on GitHub now, so talk to you next time.